Her MO with other building societies has been to open an instant access account in a false name. Run it properly for time to get decent overdraft facility, then draw out cash up to the limit and disappear. <laughs> Wouldn't think it, would you? Well, that's the point about deception, isn't it? Can't judge a book by its cover. Indeed not. I mean, who'd have guessed what you do? Far too pretty for the police. <laughs> Uh, was there more? I mean, I'm okay if you are. I'm usually here for at least an hour after we close. Okay, then. Save so me coming back. Right. Our old friend, the forged banknote. Now, these are samples of what's been turning up lately. Oh, excuse me. Boa. Well, can't you deal with it, Carol? Uh, all right, okay. I'm sorry. Stroppy customers always turn up at closing time. Won't be a tick. Keys for the safe. Come on, keys for the safe. It's time locked. I can't open it. Mate. No, I swear, honestly. I swear to God, I'll kill her. I'm going to count to three. One, two. No, no, I will. I will. I'll open it. Where is it? Come on. Is this white card in the office? Come on. Oh, no. Keep your hands where I can see them. Could get the key. Come on, move it! Got it, look. Uh, you won't hurt anyone. Look, just get a move on. Now. I'm sorry, madam, I can't hear you. Can you speak up, please? Armed robbery in progress on County's Building Society, County High Road. It's DC Spears, Sam. All units, Home County's Building Society, Camley High Road. Armed robbery in progress. Sierra, this is Sierra 1. Yeah, go ahead, Sierra 1. Show us the sign, Sam. ETA, two minutes. Yeah, receive, Sierra 1. Sierra Oscar from 833. I'm in the High Road, should be there any minute. Received 833. Yeah, we got Kate back, Sarge. But be careful, Smithy. They are armed. Kate, what can you tell us? I'm in the manager's office. They haven't seen me. While I see one, the other I see three. Armed with a sawn off and a handgun, from what I can tell. There are also three staff plus the manager, and I think a customer. The IC3 has got his gun on them. I think the IC1 is with the manager at the safe. Right. Stay out of sight and try and keep this line open. A Trojan unit is on his way, plus Sierra 1. 833 from Sierra Oscar. Receiving over. Over. Location, Smithy. I'm there, Sarge. Looks like the getaway vehicle's parked outside. It's a white VW. No correction, Skoda. Registration, Tango 989, Julia Echo Papa. Drivers, an IC1 female. Do not approach, Smithy. They are armed and dangerous. Do you understand, over? Oi, you two, you two, please, out the way, please. Thank, thank you very much. Sarge. Smithy, they're coming your way. outside. Can't breathe. Come on. You're right. He's all right. All right. He's all right. He's all right. No, no, no. You get the door. You get the door. Get back. You with the keys. Lock the door now. Come on, move. Lock him. Go on. Come on, move. Get back. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, hurry up. Amanda. Right out of the way. Move! Out of the way! Get back. Okay. Shut up. Right. Make sure they don't open the doors. 
Where's the back wheel? Um, you can't get out, it's blocked off. Now show me! The shot was into the ceiling, they're trying to get out the back way. What about Smithy? Can't see. The only see one cracked him with a gun, but he hasn't got up yet. Sam, change channels with you and inform Mr Conway. Also request India 99. Yeah, I'm on it, Sarge, and uh, that Skoda has been reported as stolen. OK. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar. Sit rep, over. We're outside the branch, Sarge. It looks like they've locked themselves in with hostages. The Trojan unit's here. Right, one of you liaise. Another unit's on the way, plus Mr Monroe. Received. It's a courtyard. High walls, razor wire. I did warn you. How high? 12, 15? Look, I could give you a lift. You can't do it, Rollo. Just our bloody luck. How did he get here so fast? One of you trip the alarm? Shit! Look, let's put him in there and, uh, and what? There's a cop car. It's going to be Butch Cassidy out there any moment. We run out and bang. There's going to be snipers across the street in the air. <laughs> right. We dig in. And I want him where I can see him. Behind the counter and down on the floor. Everyone, come on. Give us Andy and try. On the floor. Uh, come on, move it. Just do as you told me. No one gets that. You already have been. Yeah, well. Now what? Just... I see one male is mid thirties, slim, six foot, brown hair, nicknamed Rolo. And he shouted Donna as a getaway vehicle left. I see three male is late twenties, early thirties, six foot, athletic build, first name Dwight. Kate, isn't it? Kate Spears. Sir. Kate, it's Chief Inspector Conway. Are any of the raiders known? Don't recognise anyone, sir. Yes, sir, and Dwight, the IC3, seems to have some sort of breathing problem. He's an inhaler. Um, OK, we'll run a check on the descriptions and the names. Now, can you confirm six hostages, including Dale? Yes, sir. Smith and the old man look shaken, but seem to be OK. OK, hold on. Looks like we're going to need building plans. Have we been in contact with the Home County's head office? Yeah, they're sending somebody down. They didn't know anything about this, though. Apparently their central alarm system failed. Oh, well, it's lucky we had the foresight to put somebody in there, then, isn't it? Yes, Kate. Do you have any specific instructions, sir? You just stay out of sight and keep us informed. What if the hostages are in danger? Just don't do anything stupid. Rear containment. In position, Sarge. All quiet. Boat! Come in! Jimmy? Still no movement. Standing by. Are you all right? I hope we all will. We'll get through this. I promise. All right? There's a first aid box in the kitchen. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. Oh, look, thanks for trying anyway. <laughs> and you? If I hadn't let the bastard go. Let's just count ourselves lucky no one was shot. You really are. Tune it in so we can hear what they say. I can't do it. Dispatch controls all the radios. They'd have cut me out of the link by now. We wish. Give it. It's all computers now. They'd have switched to a secure channel and I can't access it. And the belt. Come on. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God knows. They're getting the Gulf of Stone Age even then. Siege. Yes. And we've got two officers inside. Dale Smith and Kate Spears. How? Smith decided to tackle the raiders against advice, got himself trapped apparently. Spears was already in there on a crime prevention visit. She hasn't been discovered yet. She's been keeping us appraised of the situation on her mobile. Good girl. Yes, yeah, she seems to have a cool head on her. Yeah, well, let's hope she keeps it. She might be quite a nice head. There's an SFO unit on the way, but we need to set up control at this end. Mm. So it's you in overall command designated gold, me and Andrew at the scene, silver and bronze respectively. Problem? No. You're a trained negotiator, aren't you, Derek? 
Yes? Well, let's not waste your expertise. You negotiate, I'll take over all charge at the scene. Merge silver and gold together. How's that? Well, if that's the way you want to run it. It is. I've got two young officers in there. I want to be as close to the action as possible, just in case. Yeah, right. What's next? What do you mean? Yeah, the copper. Uh, what they're going to do next? Tactics? Don't know. So you have to be specially trained. But then I thought you'd understand that. Why? Because you're both ex-army, aren't you? Why'd you say that? It takes one to know one. <laughs> Just the front and the back way in, yeah? What's on top? Uh, private dwellings, flats. Basement? No. Okay. Come on. Just going on a little tour. Dwight! Yes, but it's bad. You don't remember me, do you? No. Why should you? Just another statistic, eh? You're a customer. Was. When? Oh, what's the matter? Any other windows? Um, next door in the kitchen. Well, come on then, show me! Did you get that? About being a former customer, yeah. Which one was it? Okay, look, we'll check that out. Anything else? No, he said they left the door wide open. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. Well, we have containment, sir. SO19 are on scene and TSG are helping with the cordon and the evacuation of surrounding buildings. What about emergency services? Standing by. India 99 has conducted a search and it looks pretty certain that the suspects have been restricted to the building society. Any contact? I tried hailing them but no response. The BT has blocked all calls. I thought it best to negotiate to be first to speak to them on the phone. Good. Superintendent Chandler. Yes. Inspector Flint, sir. Senior SFO and tactical advisor. Inspector Flint? Heard a lot about you. Oh, good. I hope so. Yes, of course. Uh, Derek Conway, my Chief Inspector Ops. Sir. Derek will be negotiating. I'll be in charge of the scene. It's ain't so pain. We have done this sort of thing before. No, that's all right with me, sir. It's just we've got a negotiator on the way. That's fine. He can uh, step in if we need him. OK. Can we confirm there are two suspects, six hostages, including a PC and a hidden DC? Yes. Right. Can you tell us anything about them? DC Spears is young but very professional. PC Smith can be, well, let's say, a little hot-headed. As for the others, i.e. the staff, We'll have to wait until we hear from the home counties on that one. Are they sending someone down? Good. Right, well, we're in your hands. Well, let's get started then. What are you looking at? Nothing. Then don't. Look. You know how this is going to end, don't you? Shut it. What's up? Getting mouthy. Listen, copper. You want to stay healthy, you do what you're told, right? So keep it buttoned. Come on, pick up. Well, it's a bit late for a mortgage inquiry, isn't it? Right then. Hello, my name's Derek. I'm with the police. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? Game on. Right. Sit down. Sit down on the floor! Come on, get down on the floor. Hands on your heads. Hands on your heads! Copper, hands on your heads. Just so I can see you. They're not even going to talk to us. We're looking at very limited options, Derek. 
Can you patch Spears' mobile through to here? I'll try. No, oh, McCartney's Building Society. Derek Conway here again. I thought we'd lost you there for a moment. Sorry about that. Had a bit of tidying up to do. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? Call me John. Well, John, I think we have a very serious situation here. You noticed? Your building has been surrounded by armed police. But I promise you, no one will make a move against you. They're just here to contain the situation. Only you and I talking will bring this thing to an end, John, okay? Absolutely, it's good to talk. Anytime you want to make contact, just pick up the phone. It'll come straight through to me, okay? Fine. The first thing I need to know, John, is if anybody's been hurt. A bump on the head, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Good. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Well, that all depends, doesn't it? How do you mean? On what you've got to offer, Derek. You understand me? What do you make of him? Don't know. He says he's the next customer. But I don't remember him. Why do you think they're both soldiers? That reference to the Gulf? Yeah. And just the way they are. The way they carry their weapons. Like I said, I'm ex-army myself. Exactly. So you know how they think, if we want to do anything. Listen, the best thing we can do in a situation like this is let the boys outside handle it. Yeah, but if we see a chance... security camera in there. Where's it hooked up to? Uh, a monitor on my desk and our central control room in Old Street. Well, it's on the blink right now. The camera, that is. Right. I reported it last week, but they haven't come to fix it yet. Yeah. Super efficient, as always. Why? Well, I just don't seem too bothered about it, that's all. If it's bust. <laughs> yeah. But they don't know that. Do they? You think they do? No idea. It's just a bit strange, that's all. Okay, keep that one observation point and take the video cam with you so we get live feed down here. Yeah? Okay. What do we know about the suspects? Not much yet, other than that they've already discharged a weapon. Let's hope we don't have to. Excuse me, sir. This is Mr. Carey from Building Society. Head of security? Oh, yes, Sir Andrew Munro. Inspector Flint in charge of the armed officers. Do you bring the plans? Amongst other things. Now, there's not much scope for your lot to go in, I'm afraid. Main doors at the front, very little access at the rear. Well, we'll see. We haven't had one of these for a while, you know. A siege? Oh, a raid. Back in the early 90s, we were getting the branch knocked off well, once a week on average. Then we got wise. Changed the layout, security. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised we get hit at all these days. Much easier pickings elsewhere. I heard your alarm systems failed then. Ah, uh, no. They weren't tripped, Mr. Munro. That's an entirely different thing altogether. Yes, I do appreciate what you're saying, John. But what I don't get is how harming the hostages can improve your position at all. Do you see? We're going around in circles here, Derek. We don't want to hurt no one. All I'm saying is, unless we get a bus and plane out of here, someone's likely to get hurt. That's the most probable scenario, in my opinion. OK, John, I see your point now, yes. But what you're asking, I'm afraid I can't authorise at this level. We're going to have to work on this. Well, you better get moving then, Derek, haven't you? We will, as soon as we can. I'll have to phone you back, though. Fine. You know where to find us. OK, as soon as we can. Well done. Cheeky chap, isn't it? Gallows humour. He knows he's in a hole and a deep one. Threat to the hostages? Dunno. Sir, Home County's head of security has arrived. Thank you, Andrew. OK, keep up the good work, Derek. We need to know more about them. everything we can. <laughs> Look, I think you should know and try to react. One of your officers is in my office. Carol knows, but not the others. Who is it? 
DC Spears. I didn't say earlier because, well, I didn't want them to hear. You see, when he forced me to open the, the safe, he seemed to know that there wasn't a time lock. That's just a sign we put up. It's actually got with a swipe card and a patch number. And now this thing with a camera. Want to share it if you're planning something? Nah, just saying how Dwight don't look too clever, you know? Perhaps he'll do us all a favour and drop dead. You think they need to help? How many bells do you have a bloke put in the ceiling? You notice. One or two. Wait, don't even think about it, Mr Sutton. You just sit still, keep quiet and we'll get through it, all right? <sighs> look! Shut up about Donna. She did her best. Her best? She bottled at the vital moment. She said she didn't want to do it. You persuaded her. What do you think? Well, take a pill. I didn't bring any. You what? Well, we didn't exactly see ourselves getting stuck in here, did we? Oh, this just gets better and better. Kate. Well, don't blame me, Rolo. Blame the bloody army. You've been patched through to the mobile scene control vehicle, so you'll be talking to me now. Yes, sir. Now, listen. We've had a fax from the society head office listing ex-customers with Rowley or Roland in their names. But we need to narrow it down. So is there anything else you can tell me that might help? I'm not sure, sir. But Donna is definitely the name of the driver. And Dwight's just mentioned the army. It could be an ex-squaddy. And it sounds like he could be sick. I think he needs medication. Kate. Kate, you all right? Derry. Oh, God. Put the gun down in your hands, dear. Don! The gun's empty. Well, go on then, try it! Back inside, go on! Close the door. Why is it women think they can kick blokes where it really hurts and get away with it, eh? Police are you, kid? She was under the desk, on her mobile. To Derek, was it? How'd she get in? Secret passage. Oh, a sense of humor. Shall we look for it together, then, eh? You see, secret passage. You really want to add that to the list against you? Where'd you spring from? I was here when you dropped in. Why? Really to your visit. Crime prevention. Crime prevention. That's just great. Who is she? Policewoman. I don't understand. We were having a meeting when this happened. I never saw her come in. Yeah, well, the world passes you by sometimes, doesn't it, Carl? And neither did I. Well, you weren't it, you'd ask. Well, why didn't you tell us? Look, what's it matter? She's here, end of story. Yeah. For all the goodies done us. So, Dwight's an ex-squad, you reckon? And sick. What else you told? Just a general situation. What's been happening? What's wrong with you anyway? Gulf War syndrome. That's the great thing about this country, you see. You answer the call, do your duty, but afterwards, they don't want to know. Not the public, the MOD, no one. Especially the MOD. According to them, what he's got don't even exist. Don't have to pay for it then, you see. She ain't interested. I am. 
I think you've got a point. Yeah, well, you'd think anything to keep us sweet, wouldn't you, darling? No. Oh, yes. But with the others? No, I don't want two coppers together. Might as well have someone nice to look at them while we wait. Well, we know the system's working because we had a breach show up at the rear door at 17.34. That'll be when they try to escape out the back. So you're saying the main alarm was deliberately not tripped? Well, I'm not jumping to any conclusions, Superintendent. I've been in this job long enough to know that under stress, civilians can forget everything they've been trained for. But there are pressure pads along every position on the counter, plus on the underside of every desk. Right, so assuming one of the staff is dodgy, how does that affect us, Sarah? We plan around them totally, sir. Some siege situations, you can get messages to the hostages, try to get their cooperation on certain aspects. But this scenario, we cut them out altogether. What the hostages don't know, the suspects can't know. So, Andrew, have we ID'd them yet? We're waiting to hear from the building society, sir. They're cross-checking the database. I could try to expedite things, if you like. That'd be great, thank you. Any news of the bandit vehicle? Still looking. Right, what do we do if the worst comes to the worst, Sarah? Well, the fact that they're grouped together all in one of these side rooms... Yeah, as far as like... we know, the situation could have changed since Kate was discovered. Yeah. A shame they heard your voice on the phone, isn't it? Well, we'll have to see how that plays when we speak next. Yeah, okay, go on, Sarah. Subject confirmation, obviously. If they are all together in one of these back rooms and the suspects aren't with them, then I suggest a simultaneous assault front and rear when they're least expecting it. Percussion grenades and tear gas, maybe. We can be in and out with minimum risk of injury. To the hostages? Yeah, of course. Well, that is who we're concerned about, isn't it? Control from Purple 3. The shot is not on. Repeat, the shot is not on. Received. OK, get on to the MOD. Find out everything you can about him. Sorry, say that again? Good. Oh, and thank Mr Carey for his help. OK, ta-da. Right, possible ID on the IC1. James Rowland was then a corporal in the Royal Suffolk Infantry, took out a mortgage 1989, sold up and repaid 1992. Only three years? Yep. Any indication why? No, not there. I think it's time for another call, Derek. Yeah. I need to use the loo. Roll up. She's got to go. Toilet. She'll have to wait. Sorry. But... Eric. Sorry to keep you waiting, John. I've been busy. I know. I got your friend here. Sorry? Oh, no, I need to be Derek. She's brightened the place up considerably. Sorry, John, I don't know what you mean. Come on, Derek. I'm not going to trust you if you don't level with me. It was you, wasn't it, on the mobile of the lovely Katie here? Look, I don't mind, Derek. It's your job to look for the angles. Just don't treat me like I'm stupid, OK? All right, John. Mayor Culper. She was stuck in the building, so we... Yeah, yeah, we sorted all that. We're getting on very well, in fact. I know! So, Derek, how's this transportation coming? It's off Bramwell Road, Sarge, near the corner of Columbia Terrace. Over. OK, Nick. Ask around if anyone saw anything. Finding the driver could help a lot in the siege negotiations. Over. It's going to take some time, John. Well, how much time, Derek? We're going as fast as we can, John, but you've got to appreciate that getting a plane is not easy. A bus, sure, yeah, no problem, but a plane. Don't give me that. The state's got hundreds of planes you could use. Just ask the RAF. They've got to file a flight plan, John. So we've got to know where you want to go, how much fuel to put on board. Got to find someone to fly it, get permission to land it at the other end. All this takes time. Yeah, yeah, all right. I need my pills. Rolo! Look, I can't do this with you in my face the whole time. Just ask for the pills! Yeah, and then they use it as a lever against it. I need them. All right, Derek. But in the meantime, we're going to need some supplies. 
Fine. Food, hot drinks, and some medication. What is it? Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Loxetine. And doxycycline and vitamin B12, if they can get it. And doxycycline. And vitamin B12, if you can get it. Anything else? Is that it? For now. Now that's up. Okay. It's quite a list, John. Is the individual okay? Well, the sooner you get them, the better. Fine. Okay, but uh, it is getting late. Might be tricky to get a prescription. Look, just get the pills, Derek, fast! That's fine. But for the plane, we're going to need to know where you want to go. We'll get back to you. Just pick up the phone anytime. I reckon these are for Dwight. Kate said he was ill. Ill? Sounds like he's got the plague. Hmm. Well, whatever he's got, he's not going to last long without that lot, is he? Let's hope. They know something's up. But they are getting them. I say they are. This is no good. Should have listened to Donna. She said this with ending tears. Look, Dwight. I'll get us out of this. I swear. Have I ever let you down, eh? Oi! Do something! She's desperate! You better take her to the bog. Why don't you? Come on. Look, Rolo, let's face it. This is going nowhere. We just got to sit tight. They're holding all the cards! Yet yeah, we got seven hostages. What? And you're gonna kill them if they don't play ball? I'm not a killer, Rolo. Not even in the army. Neither are you. Come on. No, you come on! We are supposed to be out of here in five minutes. That's what you said. That was a plan. Your plan! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it went wrong. That's not my fault. Oh, no. Nothing's ever your fault. Look. We gotta be strong on this. Together. Else we got no chance. Like in the old days, remember? No, Rolo. It ain't the same. This ain't the army. Dwight? Let me go, please. What, what are you gonna do, eh? Come on, Rolo. You're not going out there. You're not leaving me. Let me go! Wait! Control from Purple 3. Shot fired. Repeat. Shot fired. Purple 3 from Gold. Can you... What's happening? Over. Negative, sir. Call them. All units from Purple 1, hold your position. Gold from Purple 1, sit rep. Over. Purple 1, stand by. Over. He's dead. All units stand by. Repeat, all units stand by. No reply. Go from one. Are we losing hostages? If we're not going in, could just precipitate a bloodbath. Yes, I'm well aware of the situation, Derek. Purple one from gold. Stand by, over. Received. Another 30 seconds. <laughs> Didn't. <laughs> I never met, it just went off. Get back inside.
It's over. He was right. Shut up. They want to know what's going on. Four, three, two. Yeah. John, it's Derek. Uh, we heard a shot. Yeah, there was um, a gun went off by, by accident. Anybody hurt? Do you need an ambulance? No, 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 no. It's all right. No problem this end. Are the hostages safe, John? Yeah, yeah, I told you. All safe. Gonna need a confirmation on that, John, please. Why? To keep things calm. Now, do you understand what I'm saying, John? No, he's not. But he's got nothing to lose now, has he? Look, everyone just try and stay calm, all right? You. Get up. You. Up. Right, hang on, where are you taking them? Sit down. Now. Sorry. You're by the door. Right by the window. Oops. We have hostages by the window. Received? Spears. Gold to all units. I think they're showing us the hostages are safe. Hold your positions. I repeat, hold your positions. Over. Hold your positions. Who's the woman with her? Carol Summers or Amanda Mitchell. It's hard to tell in this line. Here's some Smithy. Okay, Smith and... Summers or Mitchell. Still, can't tell. I need to go to the desperate. Wait a minute. He is desperate. Oh, come on. Come on, get in. <laughs> That's the full set, then. I don't get it. Why is he so rattled? This is terrible. What happened? He says it was an accident, but... You okay? You took quite a whack. Yeah. I haven't forgotten. So what's happening outside? They're negotiating. He wants to bust a plane out from here. In his dreams. Yeah. Why not? Get us all out of here. They take us with him. Where is insurance policy? What do they know about? You know, they must be worried one of the buses being shot. That's why he's showing us. Well, hang on. So they think that everything's okay. But we know he's killed someone. On you two, you police, what are you gonna do? Okay, Derek. Yes, thank you, John. Right. So now you keep your end of the bargain and get us that transport. We don't care where it goes, as long as there's no extradition. You'll have to give us more time on that, John. We have to negotiate at government level to use foreign airspace. Okay. What about the other stuff? What? The refreshments and the medication. Yeah, all that too. Interesting. All of a sudden, he doesn't seem quite so interested in the medication, does he? No. Dwight. Collapsed. Maybe. Perhaps he's had a fit. That gun going off. Could be anything. But whatever it is, it don't feel right. Well, we're thinking. 
hopeless. But if there is someone on the inside, why hasn't Rana used him? Well, you don't play your race unless you have to, do you? Especially if he thinks we don't know about it. Who do you think it is? It could be any one of them as far as I'm concerned. We can bow. Yeah. It could be double bluffing. Trying to throw us off the scent in case Rolo somehow gets out of here. So I think any ideas we have, any plan, we keep it to ourselves, okay? Do you have any ideas? Apart from smashing his face in. Yeah. And um, what's your interest, exactly? Just concerned, sir, for my colleague, that's all. Which one in particular? DC Spears. Well, both of them, obviously. Right, well, Smith's taken a crack on the head, but apart from that, both of them seem to be bearing up fine, as far as we can tell from out here, of course. Right. Katie was remarkably composed before she was discovered. It was a real credit to see I did. I'll see. Sorry, something else. No, sir, that's it. Thank you. You want to see me, sir? Sarah, I think we need to review our options. Problem? I, um... I don't mean any disrespect, sir, but before we go on, I'd like to confirm that I am in sole charge of the armed officers on scene. Of course. Only they shouldn't be told to hold or move position by anyone other than me, not even Gold Commander. Right. It could uh, lead to confusion, sir, and that may mean a lie. No, you're quite right, Inspector. From now on, we proceed strictly as agreed. Thank you, sir. Now, what did you have in mind? Armed robbery? Yeah. The getaway car was dumped around the corner. Witnesses say the driver, a young woman, made her way over here. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised. There's the state. She's about 30, white, shoulder-length blonde hair, first name could be Donna. Donna? Does that ring a bell? There's a Donna on the floor above this, but she's got a baby, and she's got dark hair. So what did the FME say this stuff might be useful? The ibuprofen is for muscle and joint aches. Fluoxetine is an antidepressant, like Prozac. Yes, Sarah. Probe's in place, sir. Should have a feed through in a couple of minutes. Good work. Sorry, Andrew. Go on. Doxycycline is an antibiotic. Could be for anything. And the vitamin B12 is usually used for anemia. So what might this chap have, exactly? Hard to say. But the FME's best guess is that this looks like the sort of drug regime that you'd use to treat chronic fatigue syndrome. ME. So if Dwight doesn't get his medicine... His partner could find him a real liability. Who is it? Armed police, open the door. What the? Oh, my yeah. baby's in there! Is your name Donna? Yeah. We're making inquiries regarding an armed robbery on the Home County's Building Society. What's that got to do with me? All right, Nick. Yeah, all clear. Let's go inside. This is outrageous! Where were you at 5.30 this afternoon? Why? It's in connection with this robbery. Jeez. Never robbed nothing in my life. I was here. Or I might have gone out for fags. Do you want a seat, Windia? Her, no. She'll she'll go back to sleep. I'll be outside. So can anyone vouch for you? Where you got your cigarettes from, perhaps? her day.
That's Roland, I think. Can we get it any clearer? It's through plate glass, unfortunately. Probably reinforced. Can we get anything through the back door? No, it's solid. Built to deter ingress. Is that PC Smith? Gold from Sierra Oscar receiving over. Go ahead, June. We've picked up the driver, sir. A young woman named Donna Lloyd. Excellent. Bring her to the scene. Over. Is that straight there, sir? Over. Yeah, we'll deal with formalities later. Out. Do you want to use her? Yeah, if we can. Well, at least everything seems under control. For now. You sound as though you're itching to get stuck in there, Inspector. Not at all, sir. As far as I and my officers are concerned, a successful incident is one where no shot is fired on either side. But if we do have to go in there, we're ready. Well, I intend to talk them to death. Let's hope we get the time, sir. I know you were in the army. I did six years myself. Fusilier. Queen's Royal Regiment. Oh. So why don't you let the others go, eh, and just keep me? I mean, one hostage is as good as seven, isn't it? Same effect. It's gonna get busy for you, isn't it? Looking after all of us. Feeding us, taking us to the bog. You're gonna get knackered, aren't you? Okay. Get the others. On their feet. So, will you talk to him? I want to do no good. Do I don't listen to me? Listen to Rolo. Looks up to him. We can go to the States, he says, get treatment there, because they were able to speed the nail. Rolo saw it on the internet. Dwight just swallows it. New start, new life, money in the bank. Look, it might do you some good to help us, Donna, with regard to the baby when this comes out of court later. He was getting so wound up, you know. I knew it was mad. The thought for another winner here. The cold and the wet. It really hurts him. We understand. Dwight just did it for the money for treatment. But what about Rolo? If Dwight doesn't play ball, we've got to get something on Rolo, find his weak spot. His wife, his ex-wife. What about her? She had this affair when he was in the Gulf. Worshipped her according to Dwight. So if we get her down here, would that help? I don't know, I've never met her. Real bitch, though, sounds like. OK. So who else was involved? In the Building Society, for example? Oh, come on, Donna, there's no point in holding back on us. Dunno. I swear. Rolo wouldn't tell us. But we had help, yeah. I want you to talk to Dwight. It might not work. But we've got to give it a try for everyone's sake. Right. What should we do about the baby, sir? Let her keep it. What, in the control vehicle? Yeah, if it starts playing up, it might work to our advantage. Well, if he is his baby crying hard, Dwight might come to his senses, yeah? Yeah. Control from Purple 3. Movement by opening Alpha. Two figures, Smith and another IC1 male. Over. Can you see what they're doing? Over. Looks like he's building some kind of barricade, Gov. Over. This ain't gonna stop SO19 if they wanna get in here. When I want your opinion, soldier, I'll ask for it. Where'd you serve? Ireland. Germany. Never saw any action, then, eh? Real action. Well, I never killed anyone, if that's what you mean. You! On the floor! Everyone on the floor! Move. You. Come here. Come here! Keys. 
There's keys. Come on. Come on, quickly. Come on. Well, what? Any bright ideas yet? No. Well, we've got to put our heads together and come up with something. There's only one of them now, for God's sake. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, apart from when you jumped him and the shotgun went off, when him and Dwight got involved, that happened. Yeah. Well, there's still actually two of them. What do you mean? Somebody in here's involved. He seemed to know the safe didn't have a time lock and that the camera was out of order. Someone must have told him. Now, I know it wasn't Carol, because she didn't give the game away about WDC Spears being in my office. And I know it wasn't me. Well, it's not me. Or me. Well, where were you when they burst in? Well, I'd gone out to lock the door. Or to let them in? No. At the counter? Why didn't you set off the alarm, then? He was pointing a gun at me. Reinforced glass. Yeah, and I'm going to test it out. What? We'll find out soon enough. Derek? Hello, John. How are you getting on? There have been some developments. Good. We've got Donna here, John. Or should we start calling you by your real name, Mr. Rowland? Or would you prefer James? Yeah, Rollo. That's what everyone calls me. Well, Rollo, Donna's here with Dwight's medication. She's told us about his illness, your family problems, Sandra leaving. But if you let the hostages go, put down your weapons and come out with your hands on your heads, we can start to sort this thing out for all three of you. Uh, three? We know you've got someone on the inside. Donna's confirmed it. She doesn't know anything. Not who it is, no, but she knows there's someone. So you can help yourselves by ending this thing now. Because the longer it goes on, the worse it'll be for all of you, believe me. So you have a little think about it. In the meantime, here's Donna for Dwight. Hello? Hello. Hello, Donna. Sorry about all this. Hasn't turned out quite like we planned, eh? Like you planned? I want to talk to Dwight. Well, that's difficult right now. He's... He's resting. You're not tidy yet. Yeah, but he can come to the phone, can't he? Hang on. You've got to win it, Rollo. Give yourself up. You struggled and the gun went off. I'll testify that's what happened. Yeah. As if that's gonna work. <laughs> Sorry, Donnery, don't wanna to talk to you right now. What? He's ashamed, you know. You know what I mean? Embarrassed. I don't believe you. Well, believe it or not, that's the truth. He's dead! No, no, no way. She's just mixing it. Then let me speak to him! Rolo! Just give us a minute. <laughs> you bitch. Dead! You know something? We heard a shot. You killed him. Rolo killed Dwight and you knew! We don't actually know anything. We're trying to piece it together ourselves, Donna. Let you carry on, Derek. Come on, let's get you some more comfortable.
sir. Right. <laughs> We've got to go in. Sir. The standard procedure, Rolo. Yeah. Get a better shot of me, more light. The plus point, obviously, is that the thermal image shows up in the dark. The minus, however, is that it's difficult to identify specific individuals. So which one's Rolo, do you think? Probably this one. But we can't be sure. Not sure enough to target him anyway. And it's not going to be a piece of cake getting in a shot through that window. Plus he's keeping one of the hostages close to him by the look of it. Yep. So what's the plan? Well, it's been made all the more difficult by him setting up these barricades, but he's going to have to move them when we take in the food and drink. So as soon as he moves the tables and opens the doors, we hit. Won't he be expecting that? Yeah, I should imagine so. That's why we have to keep him on the phone, tied up over here. Then we know where he is, and we can target him. Derek Conway's not going to like that, keeping him talking while you guys get Yeah, I blow. agree. That's why he mustn't know. Listen, she'll bug me up on the Yarkop of Spears. OK. But even if it was an accident, Rolo... No, it was. Fine. But I can only repeat that you're not making things any better by holding out like this. Do you understand me? I hear you. So? So where's this food? It's coming. When? Soon. I'll get a move when we're starving in here. Okay, but you'll think about... What? <sighs> He's claiming that he shot Dwight by accident. The gun just went off and that Kate will vouch for him. Do you believe it? Does it matter? The important thing is that he's starting to talk about other options and planes and God knows what. Oh, and his army record arrived, finally. 93, court-martialed for striking an officer, suspended sentence. 94, court-martialed again for threatening an officer with a gun. Jailed for six months and thrown out dishonourable discharge. Great. So, a violent anti-authoritarian. Anything else? Angry, I think since he split with his wife. Before then, he was gathering brownie points all the way. Mm. I've asked Andrew if he can trace her. It's page four, Sandra. Still hopeful we can talk him out, then? Yeah, I think there's a chance. OK. Keep at it, Derek. Shouldn't have done that, you know. Shouting out like that. Got me in it totally. You're already in it totally. Face it, Rolo. How are you gonna run away from this? You think they're gonna let you? What a mess. <laughs> Everything I touch cocks up. He was my best mate, you know. This was gonna make everything better. Instead... Then end it! Let us go and face what's coming. That's courage. You, you saying I'm a coward? No! Good. It's what my wife used to say. The cow. Ex-wife. You, you, you remind me of her, you know. Oh, thanks. Mm, physically. You, you got more guts than she ever had. When the going got tough, she just went. Took the kids. My kids. And... So, who's the coward dairy? Well, it isn't me, so it's gotta be you. Oh yeah, that figures. Don't look at me like that. 
Why believe her? It could be anyone. Even supposing it's true. Or they could have had someone at head office or central control bribe them. Anything. Is it you, Carl? No. I could murder a cup of tea. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. Goal from Pepper One, receiving over. Go ahead, Inspector. We're ready to make the drop, sir. Received. Await my instructions, over. Roger that. We better let him know. We don't want the delivery man getting blown away, do we? By accident. Here. Yeah. Your supplies are ready. So this is what I propose. One of the hostages opens the door and we push the stuff in. Okay, yeah, but any nonsense and they get it, right? I suggest he directs operations from the phone. That gets him one away from the door. It's best for both of us. If you like, you can stay on the phone and direct things from there. I can relay instructions to the delivery man. You're in control. All right. Tell him we'll call back when he's in position. We'll call back when the delivery man is in position. Right. Would help if we could get this picture back. They're working on it. Typical, isn't it? Goes down just when you need it. Purple one from gold. Are you receiving? Over. Receiving, sir. Delivery team, standing by. Stand by. Containment, standing by. Stand by. Goal from Purple One, all units standing by. Go ahead and make the drop. Over. Received. I don't see what the problem is. You just take in the food. It's just, uh... It's just so exposed. Well, if, if anything happens, you know. I'll just have to choose someone, then. I'll do it. Yeah, I said not a copper. Me. No. Shut up. No funny stuff. Key. Okay, Derek. We got our man in place. Right. So, do you want to unlock the doors and then our man appears? Or do you want to see him first and then unlock? Hmm. See him first, then unlock. All units from gold, deploy. Okay. Don't worry about the other officers, John. They're only there to protect the delivery men. Right. When you're ready, then. Go on, then. Hang on! Okay, come here. Come here! Goal from Purple One. Target now has a hostage with him. Over. Aboard, sir. What's going on? Gold receiving. Over. All units from Gold. Continue. Repeat. Continue. Over. You're not going in. Okay. We're unlocking the door. Sir. Go! 
manager. These two are staff and he's just a customer. Go he's ahead. one suspect and you've got one suspect in there. I'll do her. I'll do us both. Do you understand? Purple one from gold. Sit, rep, over. Uh, six hostages are free, but Rollo's holed up in the manager's office with Spears. Still armed, over. Yeah, as far as we know, over. OK, stand by. Out. Sorry, Derek. You know the score. I couldn't have told you. You might have given it away just in your voice. Not telling is one thing. Using me to set him up is another. It's my call. I take full responsibility. Well, now we've got a situation, haven't we? I do not deserve this. None of it. I fight for my country. I do everything I should. What people want me to do? And what do I get for it? Kick in the teeth. Not once, not twice, but again and again. Rolo, it's Derek Conway. Rolo, this thing can't go any further. Open the door and throw out your weapons and come out with your hands on your head before anybody else gets hurt. Piss off, Conway! I should have called you a con man. Rolo, I'm... I'm not listening, con man! So save your breath! Well, why don't you just toss in a couple of grenades? You know, I'd be thinking, Rolo. Oh, yeah. About what you said earlier about being a coward. Not being a coward. Okay, and you're not a coward. No. What she did, that was being a coward. Okay, so in this situation, what's being brave and what's being a coward? You're sitting here with a gun and the young woman is a hostage. Is that brave or. Look! Shut up. I didn't plan this situation. It wasn't meant to turn out like this. But it has, isn't it? She's trying to rile him or what? Sir, we've located the ex-wife. She's on her way. Seven years too late by the sound of it. Thank you, Andrew. Inform me when she's arrived. Out. The situation didn't just happen. You helped make it happen. No way. Yes. You see? I believe things happen because we make choices. You got together with Dwight and Donna. You chose them to do this with you. You chose to target this branch. One of the staff. Who was it? Carl. Or whoever. You persuaded them to help you. the time. The day. But it's turned out like it has. Because you made bad choices. Like with your wife. <laughs> Dwight. Sick. Donna. I'm reliable. What is she doing? Purple one from gold receiving over. Receiving over. I don't like the way things are developing in there. Be ready on my word. Okay, out. Go to standby. What do you know? What I'm saying is you can't blame other people for your choices. No one forced you to do anything. I didn't know. Okay. But you do now. And you can change it. You can make a different choice. Now. You can choose to do what Conway said. And then? Throw out the gun and give yourself up. Prison. Same. Oh, 
all this mess. Everything. I, I, I caused it. I'm saying you made the choices that led here. To this room. To those officers outside. And you can make the choice that leads away. From all of it. Different choice. Yes. You're right. Go, go, go! Best write it up tonight if you can, while it's fresh. Sorry. You sure you're all right? If I'd have tried to stop them, I would never get You did wife. your best, both of you. Well done, Kate. Go home. Do you want? Yeah. Do you want? Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. I've got the suspect's ex-wife here. You, uh, you sure you're going to be right on your own tonight? I'll be fine, Mickey. Thanks. Guidelines are concerning racist assaults. Get stuff that ain't interesting. Gary's trying to raise his profile by playing the race card whenever he gets the chance. Yeah, well, racism's a legitimate concern in case you hadn't noticed. Do you want to go around the other side? Right. Yeah, Oscar from 833, we're saving. Oh! 833358, send him to my lovely south side.